my last theory episode, at which point I'll be handing off the channels to someone else. There it is. That's it. Send tweet. We're all done here. That's all you need to know, right? Oh, wow. Forgive me, by the way, if I, uh, I'm a little bit more disorganized than usual. Uh, normally, I would want to script out something like this pretty precisely. But with an announcement like this, I wanted to bring it back to just us. There, there's no one else in the room. There's no teleprompters. There's no nothing. It's just the way that this whole thing started. It's a conversation between us. And uh, sorry that I keep getting emotional about this. Um, I, I'll, I'll try not to, but, it, but it's a big deal. You know, like, if you think about it, this channel is Steph and my first child, really. Before we had Ollie, before we had Skip, Catbat, like, it was this. This was our baby. This channel has been going for 13 years. I think in total it's, it's somewhere around like 1,200 theories. And um, only half of those are FNAF. Shocking. I know, we actually did stuff that wasn't FNAF related. But this has been a literal third of my life. And I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss this. I value what we have here. I value this conversation, this openness, this relationship that we share. And I'm sad that I won't be able to see you every week. Which then I guess prompts the question of like, why? Why am I doing this now? Why am I making this announcement today? Why am I walking away from the channels? Well, to be honest, um, it was Tom Scott. You can blame Tom Scott. <laughs> Tom just did his farewell video and I'm like, huh, well, he was able to do it. I want to be able to fly away in a helicopter. Obviously, that's not it. Um, but really, my reasons for making this announcement today is probably largely the same as Tom's reasons, or Seth Everman's, or Captain Sparkles, or Papa Meats, or Stampy Longheads. Like, there's a lot of these videos that are coming out these days, and there's going to be a lot more happening throughout this year. Steph and I have known this video would be coming for the last three years. We weren't sure it was necessarily going to be today. We didn't know exactly when it would fall, but we knew it was going to happen eventually. That's why over the last couple of years, we've been staffing up so much. That's why we partnered with a larger company to help run the channels. That's why we've been spending so much time outside of this box, training up the team to make the best videos that they can. Because we knew that we couldn't do this forever. We knew that, honestly, we didn't want to do this forever. For as much as I love you, and I love overthinking things, and I love theorizing, I don't love late nights. I don't love the fact that Steph and I have been work first for over a decade, where I'm sitting down at dinner with my best friend, and we're talking about business logistics or we're talking about animatronic toes. I miss the days where I could just sit down on the couch with her and play video games, and it's not for content. Or I'm playing a game and I'm not thinking about what theories are gonna come out of that. I miss it. And so that's, that's a big reason. That was, that was a big one right there. Uh, but also just the internet's changing. My life has changed in the last 13 years. I, I mentioned Dolly before. He's the coolest little dude, and he's getting older by the minute. And I watch him, and he is so much fun, and he is so much smarter than I was when I was his age. He also probably knows the FNAF lore better than I do, which is a problem that I should probably address at some point. But honestly, I want to be able to spend more time with him. Another sad fact of the matter is, is I'm getting older. I'm 37 now. The other day, I actually had to Google my own age. And you know that when you have to start like doing math, in your head to calculate how old you are, you are over the hill, my friends. Though to be fair, to my credit, I think I'm like the only 37 year old out there who has an unironic appreciation of skibbity toilet. Then again, maybe that's the problem, right? <laughs> like, maybe that's not a good thing. And honestly, because this is all about us being honest, there is a bit of a selfish side to this. When you think about it, there's only really two ways to step away from a YouTube channel. You either just decide the day that you stop uploading and you're like, I'm done or you just keep uploading videos from now until the heat death of the universe and you watch as your relevance slowly dies or your passion slowly dies. And for me and my journey in this place, I always wanted to go out on a high note. And when you stop and look at the last year, this has been the best year in the theorist 
lifespan ever. Like, no joke. It is our highest view year. Uh, it is the year where we launched style theory and immediately put our foothold in a brand new space. And that took off. And now we're one of the top style and fashion channels on YouTube. And that kind of completes the trifecta of, hey, we now have a top channel in four different verticals that are completely different. And no other YouTuber really has ever been able to do it to that scale. That's amazing. This is also the year where I was able to meet you guys at our Broadway show. I was able to play at the PGA and show that, hey, YouTubers aren't particularly good at golf, but they can make your event relevant for like a couple of minutes. It was also the year that I got to host the Streamy Awards and it wasn't cringe. I mean, to be, to be fair, the Streamy Awards are always a little bit cringe, but uh, it, was, it was the right amount of cringe. When I pull up videos of all my favorite creators, and I watch them, and all of a sudden I start hearing people just casually dropping, that's just a theory. It's just a theory, a game theory. Now this is just a theory, people. At the end of the day, it's just a game theory. That's just a theory. A free birds theory. Also a lot of lore, so if you're a big theory head, proceed at your own risk. I did not know about this theory. Or that's a theory. A game. That right there, that is incredible. And that's the note that I want to leave on. And that's how you just know it's the right time. All of those reasons coming together, saying, hey, this is the moment. And that's hard to say because change is scary. Change is hard. But sometimes the right decision isn't the easy decision. The, the easy decision would just be to carry on doing this and do FNAF part 332. But that wouldn't be the right decision. I think the best way to explain it is with a video game analogy. Feels appropriate, right? Whoa, it's game theory, ha!